Hello Year 3 and welcome to your first reading comprehension lesson this week. This week we'll be looking at non-fiction texts. But before we get into the lesson today, I would like you to do this one task for me. Can you brainstorm what you already know about coasts? So a coast is where the sea meets the land, is a place where the sea meets the land. land, for example, a beach. So if you pause the video here and complete this task for me. Fantastic. So this is our nonfiction text this week. It's all about coasts. And the author is Ruth Thompson. Before we start reading the text, I want you to tell me, I want you to talk to your teddy and tell your teddy what you think a nonfiction text is. Fantastic. A nonfiction text is um, a factual text. So it's a text which gives you information and facts. It's not make, made up. It's a real, true text. Okay. So we all know nonfiction texts talk about the in it, it would have bullet points in it, it would have facts, headings, subheadings, and those are the main features for a non-fiction text. So here, each paragraph here has a subheading. You've got rock cliffs, sand and dunes, seabirds and animals, harbours and ports, protecting coasts. So this means that this paragraph here is all about rock cliffs. Whatever the subheading is, that is what the paragraph is about. <clears throat> so let's read this text now. Coasts by Ruth Thompson. <clears throat> a coast is a place where the sea meets the land. In some places, the coast is a sloping beach. In other places, the land ends with high walls of rock. These are called cliffs. Rock cliffs, wind, rain, and waves change the shape of the coast all the time. Crashing waves slowly make the bottom of rocky cliffs crumble. Waves wear away soft rock, making holes. These become caves or arches. Sand and dunes. Over millions of years, waves wear soft rocks into tiny grains of sand. Some sandy beaches are made of crushed sh seashells. Some coasts are always windy. The wind dries the sand and blows it behind the beach. The sand piles up into soft hills called dunes. Marum grass is planted on sand dunes. Its long roots hold the sand in place. <coughs> seabirds and animals. Many seabirds nest and rest together on the ledges of rocky cliffs. Here, they and their eggs are safe from hungry rats snakes and larger birds. Seals and turtles are both born on beaches. They swim out to sea soon after they are born. Seals come back on land to rest. They lie in groups on rocks and sandbanks. <coughs> Harbours and ports. Before there were aeroplanes, air people travelled across seas by ship. They landed at harbours in deep sheltered bays where their ships were safe from rough waves. Today, ships mainly carry heavy goods. These travel in metal containers. The containers are loaded and unloaded at big ports. Protecting coasts. Some people use the sea as a dustbin. This is dangerous for sea life. The waste often washes up into the shore. Most waste is plastic. It can float for, thousand, it can float for thousands of miles before reaching land. People must, look, uh, people must look after coasts so that these are not spoiled, spoiled forever. Fantastic. So you can pause the video here and read the text yourself. Now, I want you to do the first question for me. I want you to answer the first question for me. So the question is, suggest a heading for the first paragraph of the text. But before you start answering the question, I want you to think about my top tips from last lesson. Make sure you underline the keywords in this question. Make sure you read the question carefully for you to understand what it's asking you to do. Then go back to the text to answer your question or to 
find more information in the text for you to answer your question. So your question is, suggest a heading for the first paragraph of the text. You can pause the video here. Okay, fantastic. So, in order for me to answer this question, I use my top tip. So I highlighted a key word in this question. It says, suggest heading first paragraph. So I'm going to go back to my text and I'm going to read the first paragraph. And the first paragraph says, a coast is a place where the sea meets the land. In some places, the coast is a sloping beach. In other places, the land ends with high walls of rock. These are called cliffs. So I can see that the first paragraph is an introduction to coast. So the headings that I could suggest are what a coast is, What is a coast? Or it could be coast. So if you got any of these three, your answer is correct. Okay, yeah, three, so that's it for now. Make sure that you do take a picture of your brainstorms about coast and post it to your tapestry. Goodbye for now.